Hi guys, I'm Erica Muse. I'm out at Let's Play Gaming Expo with Dallas Geek, and I have the absolute pleasure of interviewing Alisa from Borderlands. So she's a voice actress, and today we're gonna see what her favorite project was to work on. Oh gosh, um, Borderlands 3 was an absolute dream come true to be a part of. I was a huge Borderlands nerd for the better part of a decade, played Borderlands 1 multiple times. I can't even tell you how many times I've replayed Borderlands 2. So getting the opportunity to even be a small part of the franchise, much less main villain, it's... I, I still can't believe it's real. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, what other uh, characters have you voiced that um, you you really enjoyed? And maybe if there was something that maybe wasn't in the video game industry, what was the difference? Well, so, so far I've only done video game voice work, but what is kind of cool is that in addition to being Tyrene Calypso in Borderlands 3, kind of a cool role, I guess. One of the cool things I got to do was voice a gun. It is an effervescent sniper rifle that you can get in the Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. It's called the Hot Mama. It's very sparkly, very suggestive, very eager <laughs> to see you take your shot. <laughs> I have to say, I love your giggle. It's adorable, but then kind of maniacal, so I can tell you really enjoy those edgy, evil characters. That's awesome. So um, what's like a fun behind the scenes thing? Like maybe something that happens when you're recording at the studio, maybe like an inside joke that you guys have going on that just is kind of funny to know behind the scenes. It's like one of one of the best parts of the job is being able to kind of work with the writers and have the opportunity to play a little bit in the booth. Um, you're not necessarily beholden to every single word you have in the script. So sometimes I will either try a line delivery or add a little something um, that if I can make the people in the other side of the room laugh, then okay, cool. I, I feel like I've done my job. So it was almost like a little bit of a challenge to see if there was a way that I could deliver a line that would that would make the writers laugh. And then I was like, okay, cool. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> so uh, would you say there's a lot of like uh, bonding within like the recording process for the video game since it kind of has like some open ending stuff that you can kind of play with? I think um, you, you definitely get a really cool chance to, especially because being a Borderlands nerd, the writers themselves are huge Borderlands nerds, so it's almost like we were, we're kind of in this together to just make this game, I don't know, just sort of feel like coming home for fans of the franchise, and I think, you know, me being a nerd, the writers being nerds, us having that kind of background knowledge, I think, and I hope um, helps, and I think I think will reflect in the way that that it all ends up playing out. Okay. Well, I have one more big question for you. Um, if you could be any video game character, who would it be? Oh heavens! Wow, that's a huge question. It's funny. Other other than Tyrene, which duh, would it be silly to say um, Lilith? <laughs> Uh, Lilith from Borderlands, um, only because she's actually the reason that I have an asymmetrical haircut. She was the first character that I played in Borderlands 1. And just seeing this really awesome, powerful, set things on fire woman with really cool tattoos, and now she's kind of the commander of this army, I think it's, it's kind of an inspiration. So if I can borrow a little bit of that confidence and leadership ability from Lilith, then I think um, I'll, I'll be doing okay. That's awesome. So multiple of the characters that you've done are really your favorite type of character to do and really some of your favorite characters. That's amazing. So you're really living your dream. Can I ask, how did you start out? Um, so I was always a bit of a drama nerd. Um, I did musical theater in high school. I did also rock music um, and I'm still a rock musician today. Um, through an entire very incredibly long-winded story, um, I actually ended up doing streaming in my own right and I also ended up getting a gig at Gearbox. And so when I learned that we were, obviously, just to be a Borderlands nerd working at Gearbox, that's one thing. Um, to be a Borderlands nerd that then get, you know, says, hey, we have a villain uh, coming up that um, she's a little bit of a streamer. She's kind of a, you know, just, just think of what your favorite streamer could do if they also had the power to leech the life force of any living thing. Um, how powerful could that person get? Well, um, and so got consulted a little bit to kind of help out, you know, with some of the new media terminology to kind of help the script to be a little bit more kind of true to that experience. 
Um, then I got the opportunity to start reading for Tyreen, and then they asked me for a formal audition, and I said, oh, okay, that's that that that's nice. That's a nice little courtesy you're giving me to 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 let me audition for the role. Clearly, you're gonna give this to someone way better, right? Um, but but I ended up with the role, and it's been an absolute dream come true ever since. That's amazing. So basically, there was you started at the company, you were really awesome at the position you had, and then they literally, whether accidental or purposefully, made a character that was basically you <laughs> with well, superpowers. They, uh, you know, I, I would and like then you to got think. to write for and read for her. Well, I mean, I, w I would like to think that that Tyrene you know, existed before me, but I like to think that I that I kind of helped put a little bit of extra flavor into her. I, I like to joke that Tyrene is me, but louder and hangry, and before she's had her coffee. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Elise. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Um, where are, what are your websites and social media tags where people can find you? Sure, um, you can find me at Elisa Rockdoc. That's E-L-I-S-A-R-O-C-K-D-O-C. -S -S -E and that is me on Twitter, Instagram, as well as Twitch. Well, thank you so much, Elisa. You have a great rest of your con and thank you so much for meeting with us today. Bye guys. <laughs>